If you enjoyed the content of the video, kindly click the like button. Please don't forget to tell your friends. Press share on Telegram, WhatsApp and Facebook groups. In the comments box, please list any prayers you would like to ask for. Please subscribe and click the bell button if you are watching for the first time. By clicking the bell button and subscribing, kindly assist us in expanding our channel. Thank you. To Mother Mary's Protection Family, a very happy morning. I ask our beloved Jesus, Mama Mary and Saint Joseph to bless you all and keep you happy and healthy and bring you all joy today. Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, November 24, 2022. Thursday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time, Memorial of St. Andrew Dunglock, Priest and Companions, Martyrs. Prayer to St. Andrew Dunglock, Priest and Companions, Martyrs. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyrs St. Andrew Dunglock and his companions, faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood. Grant that through their intercession, we might spread your love among our brethren and be your children both in name and in truth. We lay this petition humbly and fervently on your altar. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Personal Reflection Have I ever experienced a disastrous circumstance? If so, how did I handle it? First reading, a reading from the book of Revelation. Chapter 18, verses 1 and 2, 21 to 23. Chapter 19, verses 1 to 3 and 9a. I, John, saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth became illumined by his splendor. He cried out in a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become a haunt for demons. She is a cage for every unclean spirit, a cage for every unclean bird, a cage for every unclean and disgusting beast. A mighty angel picked up a stone like a huge millstone and threw it into the sea and said, With such force will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down and will never be found again. No melodies of harpists and musicians, flutists, and trumpeters will ever be heard in you again. No craftsmen in any trade will ever be found in you again. No sound of the millstone will ever be heard in you again. No light from a lamp will ever be seen in you again. No voices of bride and groom will ever be heard in you again because your merchants were the great ones of the world all nations were led astray by your magic potion after this i heard what sounded like the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying alleluia salvation glory and might belong to our God. For true and just are his judgments. He has condemned 
the great harlot who corrupted the earth with her harlot tree he has avenged on her the blood of his servants they said a second time alleluia smoke will rise from her forever and ever then the angel said to me write this blessed are those who have been called to the wedding feast of the lamb the word of the lord thanks be to god response real psalm your response blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the lamb sing joyfully to the lord all you lands serve the lord with gladness come before him with a joyful song your response blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the lamb know that the lord is god he made us his we are his people the flock he tends your response blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the lamb enter his gates with thanksgiving his courts with praise give thanks to him bless his name your response blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the lamb for he is good the lord whose kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations your response blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the lamb the acclamation alleluia alleluia stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand alleluia alleluia gospel a reading from the holy gospel according to luke chapter 21 verses 20 to 28 jesus said to his disciples when you see jerusalem surrounded by armies know that its desolation is at hand then those in judea must flee to the mountains let those within the city escape from it and let those in the countryside now to enter the city for these days are the time of punishment when all the scriptures are fulfilled o to the pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days for a terrible calamity will come upon the earth and a wrathful judgment upon this people they will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken as captives to all the gentiles and jerusalem will be trampled under foot by the gentiles until the times of the gentiles are fulfilled there will be signs in the sun the moon and the stars and the north nations will be in dismay perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves people will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world for the powers of the heavens will be shaken and then they will see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory but when these signs begin to happen stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today's reflection on the readings today's gospel reading contains two separate prophecies made by jesus the first is jerusalem's destruction the second is christ's second coming at the end of time 
one occurs during history while the other signifies its conclusion jesus is aware of the atrocities of war particularly how the defenseless and the innocent suffer strange cosmic events will occur before the second coming despite how overwhelming the situation may seem we should not be afraid rather we should get up and raise our heads because the coming of jesus christ is the last step in our redemption yes my dear friends despite how frightening life may be god is close by to care for and protect us prayer i am grateful to you king of peace for teaching me through today's gospel reading to hold fast to my faith in the face of all kinds of tragedies lord i pray for harmony today in the world and in the homes where there is pain and tears give hope and peace to each of them may almighty god bless us the father the son and the holy spirit amen dear friends by clicking the bell button and subscribing kindly assist us in expanding our channel until we meet again in the next video may our gracious and loving god watch over you and keep you safe from all harm amen